All right, folks, so today we've got another quick how-to video. This one's again for the GC Loader and Swiss. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at how to set up the cheat system within Swiss. So there's a couple of steps involved in this. Uh, it's not too complicated, to be honest. So first, what we're gonna do is head over to gamehacking.org. And these guys have a really nice database of cheats already set up, so we can actually use the codes from that. So for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna set up a cheat file for 18 Wheeler American Pro Trucker. So we'll go into the database here and we'll find 18 Wheeler. And then I'm gonna click on the USA version because that's the version that I have on my GC loader. And then once we've found the game, we're actually gonna minimize the screen here and right click on the desktop, select new, text file and we're going to rename the text file according to the game ID. Now the game ID is up here and that's under serial. So this one is GWEE51. So I'm just going to copy that and paste over the name of the text file. Then we're going to open the text file. And then what we're going to do is find the cheat that we want. So this one is cargo value always 99999. And we're going to click the info button. And then on this screen, we're going to select Gecko. And then we're going to grab the code here that is in the decrypted box. So we just copy that and paste it into a text file. I actually did with this one backwards and we are gonna need the description of the cheat code as well. So I'm just gonna copy the description here. And again, I'm gonna paste this into the text document and that's gonna go right above the code itself. Now, since I have multiple codes that I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add a blank line in the text document. I'm gonna to go to the next one and I'm gonna take the title first. because it's a little bit easier. So we copy and paste that. And this one says freeze timers. and then follow the same process. Click the info button, gecko, and then copy the code under decrypted. Paste that into the Word document underneath the title, and we can close this out, obviously saving as well. Okay, so now we've got a cheat code file set up for 18 Wheeler. Next, we need to get it onto the SD card. So what we're gonna do is right click again on the desktop, select new, folder, and then name this folder cheats. Then I'm gonna grab the cheat file, which we created, drag that and drop that into the cheats folder. And then we're gonna take the cheats folder and we're gonna drop this into the root of the SD card, which lives in your GC loader. And just because I don't want this showing up on my games list, I'm gonna hide this. So to do that, we wanna right click, hit properties, select the hidden radio button there, hit okay, and okay again. Now you will need to create a new text file for each game, but obviously just follow the same process and add the cheats that you want and then drop those into the cheats folder as well. All right, so now we're done on the computer. So we're gonna head over to the GameCube and see if these cheats work. Okay, so here we are on the main GC loader screen on the GameCube. So we're gonna select 18 Wheeler. I'm gonna hit the A button, the A button again to load. And then here on the options screen, we're gonna actually hit Y to load the cheats menu. So when we hit Y, it brings up a list of the cheats and these are the ones we just added. So just to demonstrate this real quick, I'm just gonna turn on the freeze timers option, then hit B to return, and A to boot the game as you usually would. Okay, so the game's loaded, as you would normally expect. Let's go into mode select here real quick. Start an arcade game. Select, a truck. select character. 
and get into the game. So obviously what we're expecting to see when we start the game, uh, the timer should be frozen, which should give me infinite time, which will make the game a lot easier. Okay, so here we go. And as you can see in the top corner there, the time limit is staying at 66, which is fantastic because the time limit on 18 wheeler is not particularly forgiving. Uh, so this will definitely make the game a lot easier. But this just shows that obviously the cheats function is working. So that's how to create the cheat files, add the cheat files and use the cheat files using Swiss and the GC loader. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have, please drop us a like and also consider subscribing. It's really helping the channel grow. And also don't forget to check us out on Twitter. Thanks for watching.